Good morning and a Merry Christmas to all of you celebrating with us today in the sanctuary and also online. What a beautiful day to celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Leading us in worship this morning is Pastor David Choi, joined by our music director, Elaine. Uh -oh. Our tech crew, Mary Choi and Morgan Matthews, and our ushers today are Judy and Larry Roman. Our bulletin and print screen is created by our office administrator, Louise Green. Announcements and celebrations. Uh, since Christmas Day uh, falls on Sunday this year, the office will be closed on Monday so they can celebrate the holiday. On Fridays at 10 a.m., Pastor David is leading a Bible study. So be sure to join in the, in the church office. The study focuses on the new book, The Lord's Prayer in Greek, written by Pastor Joy David. Pastor David is also still offering free music lessons. There's still space available. So if you know anybody or any of you who want to learn the keyboard, the guitar, or the drums, please call the church office for, for information. Celebrating our celebrations of birthdays, Dorothy Tarvin's birthday is today on the 25th, and Elaine Casterline is on December 28th. We have two anniversaries, Rich and Denise Kozak is celebrating on the 28th, and Terry and Joy Fulner on December 29th. The white candle which is placed in the middle is called Christ candle. It represents the life of Christ. The color white is for purity because Christ is our sinless, pure Savior. Christmas is celebrated to remember the birth of Jesus Christ, who Christians believe is the Son of God. Jesus of Nazareth, the Christ, the Anointed One, or the Messiah of Israel, he is Emmanuel, meaning God with us. He is the Son of God, the Son of Man, and Savior of the world. We Christians must tell the world about Jesus and his gospel. This is the last command Jesus gave us. Let's pray together. Lord, our God, we praise you for your Son, Jesus Christ. He is Emmanuel, the hope of the peoples. He is the wisdom that teaches and guides us. He is the Savior of every nation. Lord God, let your blessing come upon us as you light the candles of this wreath. May the wreath of its light be a sign of Christ's promise salvation. May he come quickly and not delay. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand in place and greet one another. Please remain standing if able and join in the call to worship printed on the bulletin and also on the screen. We believe in Jesus Christ, our Savior, Liberator, and Lord. The full, the full expression, expression of God's, God's redeeming, redeeming and restoration of love. Fully human, fully divine. Source, Source of, of hope and peace, peace joy, joy and, and life, life, courage and strength. strength. God of God, light of light. light. In whom, in whom we, we live, live and move and, and have, have our being. Please remain standing and join in the opening hymn, page 249 in the Methodist hymnal. There's a song in the air 
verses 1 and 4. There's a song in the air, there's a star in the sky, there's a mother deep prayer, and a baby's low cry, and the story that's for all the beautiful sing, for the manger of the flood and cradles a king. We rejoice in the light. And we echo the song that comes down from the night, from the heavenly throne. I will shout to the lovely evangelist, and we greet in his cradle, our Savior and King. Now we'll have the performance by our music lessons group. Opening prayer. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Please join me, be seated. And please join me, <laughs> please join me in the opening prayer. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, true God from true God, you became a little child for us, so the world you made would be saved. Just as a child is born and a son is given to us, may we be born again through you and always remain in the number of God's faithful children. We Live. merit, O oh blessed God. Savior, with the Father God. and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Now we'll stay seated and sing Away in the Manger. Number 217 in the Methodist hymnal. Now we want to have a special moment uh, with Elias. Uh, he's going to sing a special song for us. Um, as you know, uh, now he's studying at Boston Conservatory at Berkeley, right? It's a very famous school. Yeah, and he's majoring in vocals. Now he's going to sing the song, Oh Holy Night. Elias, if you have some words, then you can say. Merry Christmas. <laughs>
was amazing. Thank you. The scripture lesson this morning is from Luke, second chapter, verses 16 through 20. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about the child, and all heard, who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. And Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God, for they had heard and seen, just as it had been told them. Good morning, everyone. Let us take a moment to turn around and say Merry Christmas to people around you. Merry Christmas. Yeah, we had a very nice and beautiful Christmas Eve service and you went back home last night and came back home to church again. <laughs> I know you are very busy. Thank you so much for coming and attending our service here. Due to the pandemic over the past two years, people in the world have had the darkest Christmas in human history. I think Christmas this year means a lot to people. The last prophet of the Old Testament was Malachi. After Malachi, there were no prophets in Israel, and God did not speak to the people of Israel for 400 years. We call those 400 years intertestamental period. Malachi 4, 5 says that the last prophecy of Malachi was about God sending Elisha before the end of the world. So people in the New Testament believed that Eliza would come first before the Messiah came. Six months before Jesus was born, John the Baptist was born. People believed that John the Baptist was Elisha, whom prophet Malachi had predicted. In Matthew 11, 14, Jesus says that John the Baptist was Elisha. So was Elisha reborn as John the Baptist? That's not the case. Jesus meant that John the Baptist would do a similar thing as Elisha. Elisha was a prophet who fought against the evil king Ahab and delivered God's words to the people of Israel. He did not die and was taken up to heaven alive. John the Baptist criticized the evil of the world and stood stand against the evil king Herod to the end, and was eventually killed by him. When Jesus was praying in the mountain, all of a sudden, his appearance changed due to the bright light. At that very moment, Moses and Elisha appeared in the sky. So here we come to know that Elisha and John the Baptist were different individuals. John the Baptist prepared the way for Jesus so that he could start his ministry. 
John the Baptist proclaimed that people should repent, believe in Jesus, and be saved by it. The birth of Jesus brought about a great change in the history of the entire human race. All people in the world use BC and AD. They are Christian terminologies. BC means before Christ. AD means Anno Domini in Latin, which means the year of our Lord. In Luke chapter 2, verse 19, this is what Jesus himself said. The first person to use this terminology was Dionysius Agriguigus. He was a monk in the 6th century East Roman Church. He invented the Christian calendar using BC and AD. In the 17th century, it became official. According to this calendar, Jesus was born 2022 years ago. But he was actually born 2,026 years ago. Most historians and theologians agree with this. How do we know this? First, we come to know this through the death of King Herod. Roman emperor appointed Herod as king of Israel. He ruled Israel for 33 years. He killed babies under two years old in Bethlehem when Jesus was born. The same year he killed babies, he died. He died in 4 BC. After he died, one of his sons became king of Israel. He was King Herod Antipas. We call him Herod as well. Second, we come to know this through the census of the Roman people. Roman Emperor Augustus began the census in 8 BC. At that time, Rome was very large. The census was conducted for nearly four years and was almost completed in 4 BC. Most historians and theologians claim that Jesus was born in the last year of the census. He was born in 4 BC. It means that he was born 2,026 years ago. We agree with this. People try to find out the exact year and date that Jesus was born. Dionysus Exiguus seems to have miscalculated the year that Jesus was born. He had a wrong number, he had a wrong calculation. Four years, wrong calculation. But we should not blame him. We should not blame him. Because he wanted to let people know the birth of Jesus. Because he wanted to spread the gospel to people. As a result, most people in the world use the Christian terminology BC and AD. 
And most people in the world live under the influence of Christianity. After Jesus was born, there was no Christmas for nearly 300 years. Instead, there were big arguments among people about his humanity. People did not believe that Jesus was human. He just had spirit, not physical body. So, church leaders decided to start Christmas to prove that Jesus was 100% human. Jesus was 100% human. Through Christmas, churches and Christians told people about his birth, his humanity, and his gospel. What is the true meaning of Christmas? Last night, we had a beautiful Christmas Eve service. And this morning, we are having Christmas Sunday service. What is the true meaning of Christmas? It is that we celebrate His birth. Spread the gospel. Let people know His birth. His salvation, His redemption, His resurrection, and share God's love with people. About three weeks ago, the patient who shared the room with Swede passed away. Swede is our faithful long-time member. He is under hospice care. Even though I had seen the patient several times before he passed away, I did not first approach him. I did not talk to him. I did not share God's love with him. I did not pray for him. Later I came to know that he had no family. He died alone. He died alone. I regret not approaching him first. Since three weeks ago, a young man in his early 40s named Jose has been sharing the room with Swede. He's a LA County police officer. He has several medical issues. Now he is recovering. He plans to go back to work in a few months. He looked as if he had not been to church for a long time. He had not been to church for a long time. I approached him first. I talked to him. I had a conversation with him. I listened to his story. I sympathized with him. And I prayed for him. Every time when I went there, I had a conversation with him. And I prayed for him. Last Sunday afternoon, some of our church members visited Swede and sang Christmas carols. Jose sat on the bed and listened to our Christmas carols. After we left the place, Chris Gallagher told me that Jose was in tears when we were singing. I did not know a Chris saw Jose have tears. And when we left, he thanked us. I hope that he is now open to the gospel. I pray that this will be a special Christmas for him. I pray that he can truly celebrate the birth 
of baby Jesus. I pray that the Holy Spirit will come to him, inspire him, teach him, make him realize, and help him believe in Jesus as his Savior, and live a life that God is pleased with. Brothers and sisters, now we have Advent candles, hope, joy, love, and peace. And we also have Christ candle. We have hope, love, joy, and peace. We need to share God's love, God's peace, God's grace, love, and peace with others. We need to tell people how amazing grace it is in their lives. We need to bring people to God. We need to share miracles that I experienced with people. Let people also experience the miracles of God in their lives. I bless you in the name of our Savior Jesus so that your lives will be filled with God's grace and blessings as you trust in God and pray to God and share God's words and blessing with others in your daily Christian lives. Everyone say, Amen. Thank you, Elaine. 
Please keep the following in your prayers. Marilyn McMullen, who is undergoing chemotherapy for her cancer, prayers that the treatments and the medications are successful. Continue to keep Swede Raider and his family in your prayers. Swede continues to be in hospice and living in a care home. Continue prayers of peace to the people in Ukraine as the invasion of their country continues, and also those in our country and the world that are without food or shelter. You received uh, names in the periscope also of family, members, and friends, and please keep them in your prayers. Let us pray to God. Happy birthday, Jesus. We celebrate your birth and your life. Thank you for coming to earth as a baby and bringing life and hope to all people. We surrender to you. May each day be a celebration of who you are in our lives. We want to pray for the sick. Marilyn is undergoing chemo. She takes new medication. We pray that everything will be going well, fine, and successful. We pray for our members. They suffer from various illnesses. God be merciful to them. If it is your will to heal them. Please heal them quickly, as soon as possible, and help them go back to their normal life. We want to pray for Swede. Let him know that it was truly beautiful and wonderful things, that he spent time at church and served your church here, and that you are very pleased with what he did. Please bless his soul and take him to heaven in your time. We want to pray for Ukraine and Russia. May there be justice and peace in those countries. Let this war end quickly in a peaceful way, comfort the families of victims and help them overcome their grief quickly. Many people suffer from global warming, natural disasters, shootings, or accidents. People are suffering from cold and famine. May God comfort them and provide them with what they need. This week is the end of the year. This week is the end week of this year. Let us finish this year well. And welcome and have the new year with joy and gratitude. God bless your people here, their families, and their friends and their neighbors. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything in our lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Please sing, please join me in saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Please join in singing United Methodist Hymnal 219, What Child Is This?
As we bring our offerings to you, we give back to you from the abundant gifts you have given us, your greatest and most precious gift, the birth of Jesus Christ. May our gifts to you today be acceptable in your sight, O Lord our God. Please join me in the offering prayer printed in the bulletin and also on the screen. Glorious God, we sing with the angels to celebrate the tremendous gift of your son, Jesus. We rejoice with gladness. You give us wonderful joy and peace in our Savior. May we exalt in your goodness with the exhilaration of children opening gifts. As we bring our offering, we ask that our lives would reflect your joy and generosity. We pray through Jesus. Amen. Please stand and join in singing The Virgin Mary Had a Baby Boy, hymn number 2098, found in the faith we sing and also on the screen. Thank you. 
shepherds came when the baby was born. The shepherds came when the baby was born. The shepherds came when the baby was born. And they said that his name is Jesus. He come from the glory. He come from the glorious kingdom. He come from the glory. May God welcome you from all evil. May God will keep your life. May God keep your going out and coming in, now and forevermore. Amen. Mm -hmm.